New additions are set to be made on the big steel frame on Burlington's waterfront. NBC 5's Tyler Boronsky joins us from the newsroom now after speaking with city leaders and the design team about the next phase of the Moran frame project. Tyler. Yeah, Brian Alice, well, the main goal for the city is to have the community use the frame structure. And while leaders have a clear vision and can start construction, there's still some work that needs to be done before that can happen. The Moran frame at Burlington's waterfront is an iconic landmark. Yeah. On Thursday, neighbors gathered at the Burlington City Arts Center on Church Street. It's really enhancing and improving accessibility. To see the vision for the frame structure, city leaders asked neighbors for feedback through a survey, and since the fall, more than 500 people have shared their ideas. Certainly we're about being able to get up in the frame, but that was closely followed by having uh, opportunity for different types of performances. Now they're taking those ideas and adding it to their next phase of the Moran frame project. The main additions include an observation deck 40 feet high to get one-of-a-kind views of Lake Champlain. They're also planning to design an all-season skating ribbon that would look like this. In the summer, it could be used for rollerblading. In the winter, ice skaters can glide around it. So the idea of lots of activity all year round, but then it will be a really fun spot to just be by yourself into when when it's not, you know, full of people. But right now the city needs money to do the work. The project costs upwards of $25 million. Mayor Moreau Weinberger says they have some federal funds from the American Rescue Plan saved up to help. They will invest in a capital campaign strategy to figure out how to raise more money and it won't impact taxpayers. No one can say today exactly how this uh, could get built um, and it could end up being phases two through five or something. Maybe it's something that gets built incrementally over time. Zach Campbell has been working on programming plans. He's the mind behind these summer movie nights at the frame that started last year. He hopes to continue to work with local businesses and the community to bring some fresh and unique activities to the prime piece of real estate downtown. One of the great things about this space is that it's always sort of stoked imagination and, and creativity in, in folks. This is still in the early stages, so there's no date on when construction would start. They're still looking for feedback, and we have a link on where you can send them on our website, mynbc5.com. Live in the newsroom, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.